one thing that really annoys me about reviews for games is that the PC platform is by far the most, you know, it's the biggest one, it's got the most players, it's the most open, it's got a lot of people playing on it, um, it's mostly digitalized, right? And yeah, okay, uh, games get updates really quickly, very easily through services like Steam and Origin, everything's kind of automated, it's a lot more console-like, but one f- huge difference between console games and PC games is um, the technical issues. And yes, it's more reliable nowadays. I'm not talking about hardware or um, necessarily things like that. I'm just talking about... It's not just how well the game runs, but also like the DRM, etc. And this is never mentioned in professional reviews. Like, for example, a prime example is something like um, GTA 4 or Watch Dogs. When these games came out, um, like, they've been praised by the critics, right? Like, GTA 4 on PC got, like, 91. But how well did the game run? Not very well. I mean, you go on the Steam... When the Watch Dogs launched, I went on the Steam store page. And a lot of people were playing it, but every single review I read was negative, And it had, like, thousands of people agreeing with the negative reviews. I couldn't really find any positive reviews for it. And the reason was people... Okay, first of all... The game wasn't optimized. Like, I read there was an entire article writing about how Watch Dogs is bad for PC gaming because it's practically tied to the NVIDIA brand and it didn't run well at all on AMD cards. And um, the main reason, also, that that game got bad reviews for the PC from users is because of Uplay. The number of people that just complain about Uplay and have problems with it Personally, I've not had problems with services like Uplay or um, Games for Windows Live, but apparently I'm in the minority, so what the heck. But a lot of users say that Uplay and Games for Windows Live, they can't launch the game, they can't play the game. They have all sorts of problems with it. And what's making this even worse is that on Steam, where they've got these Steam tags, so you can tag the game, right? Uh... You can't actually, but because they want to moderate it, they don't want people like trolling and stuff. You can't tag uh, certain things like you can't tag, oh this game is shit. You can you can't. And recently they've removed the ability to tag you play, and that's just silly because yeah, it might hurt sales of the game, but people can still scroll down the page and read user reviews or overwhelming negative of I can't play the game or uh, like jokes of. Um, Apparently, the objective of the game is to hack into it to be able to play the first level or something. Just the, None of this is ever mentioned. For example, if a game comes out and it's horribly optimised uh, and you have trouble getting it to work and it's got all this like unnecessary DRM like Grand Theft Auto 4 did, right? and you're reviewing the game, do not copy and paste the console review of the game. Yeah, if the game is like, I don't know, an 8 out of 10, right? And you're saying, oh yes, the game has the potential to be an 8 out of 10. I'm going to rate the game for the game itself as the piece of art that it is, right? That, oh yeah, all these, uh, assuming everything's fixed. Well, mention that you're assuming everything's fixed. Don't just say, oh yes, the game is an 8 out of 10 when it works, right? And just say, oh, um, don't, what I'm saying is, if, you, if, if you're if you reviewing the game, be honest about your experience. Don't just ignore the bit of, oh, I had trouble getting it to work, and say, oh, I'm not going to mention that, because it makes me sound like a noob, like I don't know how to configure my PC and stuff. So I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to rate the game as, on its own, and assume any problems I have are because of my configuration, of my PC specs, of something I've got wrong. No, this is something that other people are going to have these problems too. Chances are, if you're having problems running the game, you're not going to be the only one. So, in your review, it needs to be a critical part of it, because even if there's a game that's 10 out of 10, right, if I can't even get the game to work, then what's the point of you saying a 10 out of 10? That's just a highly artificial thing. Yes, it might be a great game when it works, but if it crashes, 
if it doesn't work with some systems, if it's horribly optimized, if I have to go through this DRM that doesn't work. Just mention the small print sometimes because when people go and look for a review, they don't want they don't necessarily want you to just confirm what they already know. They don't want you to say, Oh yes, this is this. Oh yes, this is a shooter. Oh yes, this is this game is about this. Oh yes, this game is made by Don't tell me stuff that I already know in a review. When I'm watching a review, the reason I want to watch the review is to find out things I didn't know, find out the other side of the picture. For example, if I, there's a game that I'm interested in, chances are I'm already interested enough to search for a review of it anyway. So there's certain stuff I already know about. I'm not going to go and watch every review of every game under the planet. I don't have the time to do that. So when I'm searching for a game, chances are I already know something about it. When I'm watching a review, the reason I want to watch the review is to know the stuff that I don't know. To to find out about things like, is the game well optimized? Does it have this unnecessary DRM, etc.? So I really want to see more publications actually mentioning how well the game runs. And I want to see that not just for PC, but for consoles as well, because I feel like the performance of a game isn't always emphasized enough even though it may impact the gameplay quite a lot.